Hi everyone, this is Barbara, aka Picky Chick. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do an unbagging of a Salvation Army jewelry bag that I have right here. It is about eight to 10 pounds heavy and I paid $40 for it. I have never purchased a jewelry bag from Salvation Army before. Uh, quite frankly, it's they're hard to find at my Salvation Army. So I got lucky. Actually, I purchased three of them um, within the same two week period. So this is the very first one I'm going to be unbagging and let's tear into this. Uh, first, I will show you um, what it looks like on the outside. Looks kind of interesting. So there it is, it's pretty heavy. So let's just get started. All right, let's open this baby. Ooh, that's a lot of jewelry. Okay, let's see what we have here. See, this first thing I'm pulling out is an earring. And I do see it's mate. I notice right now that there is a missing stone here. Let's put these aside. Okay, let's pull out a couple more things. Here's an earring. Let's put that aside. Let's see if there's a mark on it before we put it aside. Okay, we were checking this just before the dog start, started to bark. So this is an earring and it does not have a marking on it. So we'll put that aside. This is an enamel stick pin. It's kind of cute. Here's a, a necklace, a broken necklace, pearls. This bracelet's kind of caught. Oh, no, it's not a bracelet, actually. An earring. Um, earring. It's a broken set of pearls. So that will definitely go into a craft lot. Next, we have a clamper bracelet. Or actually, I guess it's still called a clamper bracelet. It's got an etching floral design in there and a safety clasp that looks like it could be repaired but it has come apart and I do not see a marking on that. Okay, here's a set of wooden beads still on the card. It's definitely craft lot material. It's cute. It goes in the craft lot. Here we have a plastic orange hoop earring. Put that aside. There's a Santa earring. It's it's wooden, but it's painted and it's cute, actually. So we'll put that aside, see if we get some matches on these earrings. Okay, here we have a necklace with the beads are plastic and wood, and it looks like an easy repair where it came off here. And there is a tag on this. The tag is NY, New York and Company. Okay. Not too impressive of a necklace as far as uh, resale goes, so I will put that in the craft lot. All right, Charming Charlie. On the card, we have an earring and necklace set. And we have some tangles here, so let's see what we can do about that. All right, it's actually very cute. I like the color of the stones, sort of a turquoise teal color, gold tone chain. And I think that's kind of cute, actually. Here's another necklace with a, I think there's a pearl earring stuck, or no, it's another necklace stuck in there. This is kind of cute. It's kind of a tribal boho, style necklace. Kind of pretty. No tag. It just needs to be reattached. That's a very simple fix. Right. Here's a bangle that's, uh, well, someone was trying to sell it for 99 cents. 
it's a price tag. But it's a burgundy, it feels like a silk ribbon covered bangle. It's kind of cute, it's different. All right, here's the set of puka shell, or I should say a puka shell necklace. It has some tangling. Let me see what I can do with this. Get it untangled. All right, I'm gonna pause this because this is, this is tangled. Okay, so got that untangled and it is a puka shell necklace. There's a stretchy bracelet. It's got a nautical or no, it looks like a, ah, this Claiborne logo on there. It is stretched out and I will put that in a, in the uh, craft lot. Okay, here's another bangle, silver, and has a 50 cent price tag on there, and it's just a plain, inexpensive silver bangle. There's another bangle that has definitely gotten misshapen here, and it's pretty rough shape. Let's see, yeah. Uh, anyway, that's gonna go in the craft lot. It's, Kind of a rough shape there. Okay, here's a pin that someone <laughs> did needlepoint and made it into a pin. All right, here's an enamel earring and no name on that. Put that aside. Here's another earring, silver tone with some etching in there, and there is a name. It's uh, Leah Sophia. So Leah Sophia, let's see if we'll get a match for this. Here's an earring, a, a wooden Christmas tree earring. Let's see if we can get a match for that. Another earring. Put all the singles over here. There's a watch. Nope, this is not a watch. This is a watch band. That might come in handy. I'll put that in my watch with my watches. This is a watch. Embassy by Gruen. Well, I'm pretty sure I know Gruen is a pretty good brand. It's a, a bracelet watch. And it's not working, but maybe all it needs is a battery. We'll see. It's not too bad. Okay. Here is a hair tie. I think it's a hair tie. Maybe it's an elastic bracelet. But uh, what I'm going to do with this, I have been collecting anything that's rhinestones, uh, any jewelry that might be broken or missing a stone, and I'm making a rhinestone uh, craft jewelry lot. And I'm going to, I think rhinestones are pretty popular uh, for crafters, so I'm going to just sell the rhinestone lot. Speaking of rhinestones, okay, well, this is a, a hair clip. It's kind of cute, but I'm going to put that in a craft lot. Okay, this looks like a vintage earring. Blue rhinestones in there. And let's just see if it has a name. I, hmm, I don't see one. But maybe we'll have a mate to this in the lot. Here's a stretchy bracelet. It is missing one, two stones. I'll put that in the craft lot. Here's a pink bangle bracelet. They had 99 cents on there. It's thinner on one side than the other. It's kind of cute. Next we have a watch. It's a Tweety Bird watch. That's cute. It's not running right now, but I will put that in my watch pile. I have a, a lot of watches I'm collecting. Next is an earring. It's a red or fuchsia colored earring. And we are going to put that in the pile, hoping for a match. Here are, a few, these feel like porcelain, actually. This might be a vintage earring. It says made in England, and let's see if 
I can catch what that says. That says Coalport. So I believe I've come across this brand before. That would be very cool if there was a, a match for that. So let's see what happens. Another earring. Pearl set. I don't believe this has a mark. No, it doesn't. Here is an enamel earring. Does not have a mark. And we did find a match to the earring we saw earlier. You know what? This is not a match, it's just a very similar uh, earring. So let's put that aside. This is another earring. It's just a black, it's very lightweight and the silver is fading on that. So it's just a very lightweight, inexpensive earring. They had $3.99. He, um, here's the other earring that goes with that. This is pretty, this is a pretty big earring. It's a clip earring. And all the stones are on this one. This does have a mark on it. And it says, Sarah Coventry. There we are. They're pretty. Let's see. Here is a bracelet that does not have a mark on it. And there's some sort of green stone, might be glass in there. Doesn't feel very heavy. Here's a knot earring, and this does or does not have a mark. I don't see one. There's the earring. Put that aside, see if we get a match. Here's a children's something. I don't know what this was. It's metal, and maybe it was a pin, and there's no backing on it right now. <laughs> that goes in the crap lot. Here's a pair of pink hoop earrings. Crap lot for that. Here's a pair that sticks out at me here. That is a pair of hoop earrings. It's got like a pink plastic. Uh, they're very lightweight. Even the metal is actually plastic. So that's a craft. All right. Here's a little Christmas pin. It's plastic. It's a bear. It's cute. And it says, see if I can see what that said. That said Hallmark cards on the back. Cute. Here's a silver tone tassel earring. And it has a mark on the back. And it says Sarah Coventry. Let's put that aside, not earring pile. Here's another earring. It's pretty faded, gold tone, triangular textured earring. There's an antique earring, looks like a vintage earring. <clears throat> and it's too bad there's some missing stones in that. Um, oh, a stone just fell out actually. It is stamped Coro. Too bad. All right, let's put this aside something that we find a lot in jewelry jars and bags. This is this purple statement necklace. All right, no name. And it's cute. It's it's your standard statement necklace. I'm gonna put that aside, probably put it in the craft lot. Here's a vintage looking watch and let's see what the name on it is waltham i have a feeling that it could be valuable the band has come unattached but looks like it might be an easy fix take it to a jeweler um all right let's put that with the watches What's this this looks like a big old pendant 
big old eagle pendant. That's kind of cool looking. Has like a bronzy tone chain, but doesn't have a jewelry tag. They were wanting $5 for that. Um, but it's kind of cool. Here we have a snowman pin. He's kind of cute. Let's see if there's anything on the back of this guy. Nope, nothing. Okay. Here's a wild and crazy pink necklace. Hot pink. And it's broken and it's going to be a crap lot piece anyway. And it's very inexpensive. This looks like a, some sort of abalone or mother of pearl inlay on this pendant, on this necklace. And may or may not have been vintage. That hook seems like maybe it says vintage to me. Uh, but that's kind of cute. I like the pendant a lot. That's pretty. All right, we have another statement necklace. I really like the stones in this necklace. They have like a iridescence to them, like a teal color. They're faceted and the chain has little stations. This is cute. Uh, I don't believe there's a name and the tag says 999 set. So I wonder if there might be earrings that go with this in here. That would be nice. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, here's a pin that says Minnesota 1993 Missouri Lions MD26. I have no idea what that means. It's one of these types of pins. All right, here comes a, a cameo necklace, but it's more like a statement necklace. It's kind of a chunky type of necklace. It's multi-strand. There's a bit of a tangled tangle up a little bit but this is what this looks like I kind of like this let's see if I can find a tag a jewelry makers tag on this I don't see one but this is really cute it looks like all the stones are there and it has like a, a faded pink and I think it's supposed to be that way a uh, cameo I like that this is pretty we have a stretchy rhinestone bracelet, and this is going to go in my rhinestone lot that I mentioned earlier. This is a Christmas clip earring. Interesting. Let's see, it's a candy cane. Let's see if we can get a match for that. Here's another earring, pierced earrings. It's kind of pretty. I love these colors. They're really nice. Here's a plastic earring. It's plastic for sure. Okay. All right, well now here is a denim earring. It looks like a homemade, handmade kind of earring. It is not an expensive thing. All right, this is a wooden clip earring. Another earring. This feels like plastic. Here's a gigantic hoop earring that says Bay on it. I can't imagine wearing these. I think even a lightweight one would feel heavy on my ear. So let's put this over here. All right, here's a pair of earrings. And it's got other things stuck to it. Okay. They are cute. Black and silver. They wanted $1.99 for these. This is a Suicide Squad pin. It says Bio World. I'm not real familiar with that. Okay, it was 99 cents. All right. I gotta untangle some of this. All right. Our next item 
is a mother of pearl or abalone button necklace. It's kind of cute. It's kind of an olive green. Pretty. All right, I see a pair of earrings right here. They're textured. Or, oh, you know what? That's not earrings. These are loose jewelry parts. It looks like maybe it was a stretchy. Oh, yep, there's a third one. There's probably more in here. There's a lot of loose loose parts like that in here. I do have the mate to this. This is from over here. And here's another mate. There's another wooden clip earrings. All right. Here is a plastic stretchy red hat charms. This looks like a cool vintage earring. Let's see if we had, could find a mate to that. This, what in the world? Oh, <laughs> this is a dragonfly missing the other half of his wings. <laughs> okay. This is the other Corvo earring. Nice of them to include this on the lot. It is missing every single bead that was on there. All right. Another earring and we will put that aside. And another one that I think we already, did we already have the first one? No, there's that earring. We're gonna put that with the other ones waiting for matches. This is an earring, I'm trying to figure out what the stone is. It's a clip, interesting. Hmm, okay. Here's a pierced earring, gold tone. It's kind of pretty. Get a better look at that. Put that in the pile waiting for mate. Here is a, oops, a stretchy bracelet that's got some stuff stuck on it, but it's a stretchy bracelet. Then we have an earring that's plastic bead stuck to it and a pierced earring. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Hmm, a pierced earring and it's no name. Let's put that aside. Here's the mate to the one that was just stuck to the bracelet. Okay. Here is a handmade pin. I could, um, yeah, I could do without this. <laughs> put that in the craft pile. Okay, here is a kind of a cool bracelet. I like that. I normally don't like um, bracelets or necklaces with this ropey kind of waxed threading, but this is kind of cool. I like the pendant that they put with that. I like it. All right, here's a match to that earring we just saw. Got a match there. Here we have a rope chain bracelet with a cross charm and let's test it to see well the clasp is sticking to it let's see well the bracelet sticking to it but it looks like there's a stamp on here that let me see if I can see it it says 925, so I'm not sure about this. I'm gonna put this aside and take a closer look later, but it does say 925. It might be gold over sterling. This hopefully can get cleaned up. All right, here's a bangle bracelet. It has a safety clasp on it. It's black, it feels heavy. Uh, it feels nice, actually. And I'm not sure how to open it. Oh. Whoops, I don't think that was supposed to happen. That doesn't seem natural. 
I wonder if it's magnetic or I don't quite know how to open this thing. Well, I will look into this, but this, this actually feels like a very nice piece here. Interesting. Okay, here's a little uh, pendant, glass pendant on a string um, that's going to go in a craft lot. And here is a very inexpensive necklace, pearl necklace. And a very inexpensive stretchy. Here's another bracelet identical to the one that we just had earlier. So there's two of these in there. Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is a necklace. It's gold tone and it has some really cute... Um, enamel and beaded charms on there and I like this. This is really cute. Really nice. I like that. Okay. This is a charm bracelet with a silver charm on a gold bracelet and that's very cute. We will take the magnet to it and see what we find. Found the magnet and it is magnetic, but it's a cute bracelet. All right, next is another necklace. This is cute. Inexpensive chain that can get switched out. Cute pendant. I am going to go ahead and put that in the craft lot though. It just feels pretty lightweight. Very cute though. A hoop earring or dangle hoop earring. Here is um, an earring that I was hoping there was a second one like it. All right, there's a pair of earrings. They're really cute. They're supposed to be silver tone, though I see this is starting to turn gold. Maybe it'll clean up. I'm going to put the magnet to it. Nope, they're definitely not silver. But they're kind of cute. I like those earrings. Let's see if I can do something with those. Oh, here's a button. Nice. Definitely a keeper. Speaking of, let's see if I can just give you a glimpse of some of the loose stuff I found so far. Yeah. You're always going to have some of that, I guess, in some of these jewelry jars. Here's an earring. And I just see the other one. Got a match there. They're kind of cute. All right, I have a match to this bay earring from earlier. Here's a nothing. Is this a piece that I thought was an earring? Okay, let me sift through. Oh, and this looks like a nice ring. Now, it looks like a nice ring, but, and it still might be, but I just noticed it is adjustable. And let's see what happens when I, oops, no, it's, it's magnetic, so it's just a cute costume ring. All right, we have a broken plastic macrame bracelet. There's a necklace with gold and green beans. They feel like uh, beans. Gold and green beans. Um, gold and green beads. They feel like they're glass. And it's kind of cute. And we have a seed bead choker necklace. It's going to go in the craft lot. Oh, it's broken. All right. Well, the dogs are out, and you can probably hear them barking in the background, but hopefully they won't be too distracting. This is a really pretty necklace. Pearls and seed beads, and I like that. That's the pretty colors. Very pretty. There's another necklace. Uh, glass beads, and maybe the greens are, green is a stone. That's kind of pretty. I think that's a handmade piece. 
pretty. Here are a couple of bracelets. This one is definitely a plastic bracelet and this is a very lightweight metal bracelet, crafty bracelet. Again, these feel like wooden beads, but that's gonna go in the craft lot. All right, here's a pair of earrings that are already together. They're just handmade uh, plastic bead earrings. Next we have a gold tone and purple pendant necklace, a short necklace. That's pretty cute. This is the earring that I found, uh, well now I should say I found the earrings that I was hoping to find because there's a necklace that matches these in this lot. And they're pretty, I like those. We have plastic dangly hoops that surprises me that they didn't sell them at $4.99. Ha, <laughs> not. All right. Here we go with a set of earrings. That There's a blue and gold version and a red and black version. Actually, they look very retro. They're kind of cool. They're enamel. Put those aside. There's a cute little um, charm bracelet. That's kind of cute. I like that. Pearls, silver tone. The, the toggle closure is turning. And it looks like it may even be missing the other end for the closure. But you could put a new toggle on that. That's kind of a cute bracelet. There is a, a necklace that is kind of cute. That reminds me of Tree of Life, but it's really more of a floral medallion kind of design with a little tassel hanging. Cute. There's a pair of earrings, cross earrings. They kind of remind me of, uh, it has like a cross for the post and then also Cross dangle. They kind of remind me of either I think it's Lucky Brand that has similar or Fossil. I can't. I get those confused sometimes. Um, but I think they're pretty. Those are cute. Now I had this earlier, and I could have sworn I just saw them. Here's the match to it. This is a Monet earring, pair of earrings, and those are really cute. I like those. A pair of greenish blue enamel clip earrings. I don't see a name on those. They're kind of cute. Here's a pair of earrings with sort of a yellowish clear setting in them. Not bad. This is a looks like a dogwood pendant, but however. <laughs> It's broken, it's missing a leaf, it kind of snapped off, but it was included in the bag. These are cool. These are, uh, there's an old string from the price tag. These are vintage looking screw back earrings. And they are kind of a cur have a curved design. They're neat, I like those. Here's a really cool pin. I like that. Um, it's got wavy textured petals with a crystal rhinestone setting for the center of the flower. That is neat. I do not see a name on that, but oh, it's a pin and a pendant. Here's the, the pendant. Well, you know what? It looks like it was supposed to be a pendant, but where the pendant should hang, it looks like the hole is kind of jammed up with metal. I don't know if that was a, a mistake in manufacturing or not, but it's still a really cool pin. I like that a lot. This is 
It reminds me of like a statement necklace, but on a smaller scale. Um, it's got several pendants on there or charms and um, blue turquoise, faux turquoise setting on that. It's a nice little delicate chain. It's kind of cute. I like that. Next item is a necklace with a pretty pendant. The the neck the necklace itself, the chain itself, is very, very tarnished, but it could easily be changed out. Uh, the pendant itself is in very good shape, so I like this one. This is pretty. We have here, um, looks vintage. At least the pearls look old, but you know what? They feel pretty plastic, so... Um, I think it's just a costume piece. Oh wait, it does have a tag on it. Let's see what the tag says. Sarah Coventry. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. It has, I think it's lived out its life here. All right, here's a Dollywood type of uh, bracelet. It has a broken, it might be a choker. It has a broken lobster clasp. We can go in the craft lot and let me just go ahead and pull these plastic pearls aside. Oh, this is really cute. This is a very long necklace with these acrylic lucite type uh, charms or beads on them, chunky. They are really cool. Remind me of dominoes. Um, neat. This is really cute. It's very different. See the different types of beads on here? And it is a Chico's, so that's a keeper for sure. This is cute. I like this. Really long, so um, let's see if I can stretch this out for a better view. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it, like it. And here we have a rope chain and it has a tag on there that says Monet. And I think that can get cleaned up. And finally, there are two items that were on pack in packages. I could see through the bag when I bought it. Um, this looks like a bikini charm. It's kind of cute. And um, yeah. $5.99 regular, $3.99 somewhere on sale, and I guess Salvation Army was trying to get $1.99 for it. So that's kind of cute. And finally, this looks like a pretty vintage Christmas pin. Just the style of the little girl on the front. Just very interesting. Um, it looks like it might be even on the original card. I don't want to bend up the card too much, but I kind of... That's kind of cute. That's the conclusion of the unbagging of the Salvation Army jewelry lot. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did have fun unbagging it and revealing the contents and seeing if there are any treasures. I was pretty happy with this bag. I will at least break even and it's always just so much fun. So if you did enjoy this video, could you give it a thumbs up? I would appreciate that. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified as I post new videos. Thanks and I will see you next time. Bye bye.